Hey pilots, this is Stan from War Robots team. Happy to meet you and tell all about our big rebellions. You can play War Robots in many different ways, and the new workshop open them all for everyone. You can choose which robot or weapon to build and tailor your hangar for your exact fighting style. Now, our goal is to make every choice you make viable. We know you have tons of equipment collecting dust in your storage. Update 4.3 will introduce a large-scale rebalance that should put them back into action. You can find the full list of balance changes on Warrobber's website using the link in the description. In this video, we will explain main reasons for these changes. High damage, high mobility builds dominate all over the higher leagues. The biggest culprits here are Spectre, Bulgasari, Hatchy, Shock Train, Scourge, and Orca. They are good at everything, overshadowing most other options. Many upcuts still lower the power of these items for a long time, so we started planning the rebalance from here. This was a tough move to make, as many people already heavily invested into this top tier equipment. But it doesn't mean these items aren't powerful anymore. Oh no! We want them to remain strong and satisfying to play, but also create more breath and room for other builds and promote variety of the battlefield. In the long run, this should make high-level War Robots gameplay much more exciting. To carve some space for more methodical, team-oriented playstyles, we powered up Welland, Bulwark, and Mender. Lancelot, Fury, and Natasha also became slightly stronger, while equipable Ansile and Echo Shields received some extra durability. This should give you and your comrades more reasons to team up and protect each other, instead of always going for the kill. Even though there are tons of powerful weapons for heavy slots, not many robots are able to utilize them to a full extent. I've already mentioned buffs to Wayland, Bulwark, and Fury, but there is more. Carnage, for example, became harder to kill. Weapons like Ember, Nashorn, Redeemer, and Exodus got more damage. And the biggest change goes to Falcon. This one needs some background. When in the air, Falcon sacrifices damage resistance for two additional medium slots. This is strong in theory, but in the real combat, the extra firepower doesn't fully justify losing all protection. So instead of two medium slots, we gave Falcon two heavy ones. We hope this will make Falcon's ability more exciting to use, without taking away the risk of going all in. Natasha, Leo, Mercury, Hellburner, and Strider are solid machines by themselves, but their weapon choice left a lot to be desired. So in addition to heavy weapons, we reviewed some light slot items as well. Molot, Arbalest, and light lockdown guns all became stronger. We also buffed Hellburners and Mercury's abilities. This together should open more room for experiments on these robots. There are more balance changes in the update. We increased hover speed and durability and storm's damage, slightly toned down Gust and Hydra, decreased Ballista and Arbalest damage, but made them shoot much faster and more. Once again, for the full list of changes, visit the link in the description. All these tweaks arrive in a single pack and we understand it will take some time to adapt. Still, we encourage you to try them in action and see if you enjoy the game more. After these changes, some of you may want to switch to some new playstyle. To help you with this, we plan some activities to retool your robots faster. For a more detailed view on how the rebalance will affect the game, check the article on our website. See you on the battlefield, pilots!